beautiful people welcome back to toy ctv i'm back we are on episode four of season one of ozark i think we're on episode four anywho so last episode marty was kind of losing his mind okay he was just trying to think of all these ways to get more money but in the meantime he was he has upgraded some of the things at the lodge especially the sign because the sign was not too inviting okay so he upgraded that he also when you get a full tank of gas you get a beer and a burger for five dollars so we got they got that <laughs> that and also uh what else happened his daughter charlotte he took charlotte to an interview and she saw the two brothers one is three i don't know if the older one is named two but two and three okay and she went up to the older brother and punched him in his face like she should have because sir you got me arrested so from her getting arrested the boy not arrested from from her punching two that's what I'm gonna call him until I find out his name. And from punching two, they started harassing them. So they started putting dead animals on their lawns or in front of their house so vultures could come. And Wendy, because <laughs> Wendy was about to snap this episode. She, you know, just all the stress from, you know, everything that's going with Marty. Then, you know, she she was trying to go get a job at with the real estate guy that sold them their house. Then she went to, she was looking for pistachio ice cream for her daughter. And she drove an hour and a half because the store she called said they had it. And they only had mint. She was about to snap on that employee. <laughs> and then the last straw was when the boys did the... Uh, they put like a possum or raccoon. I think it was a possum on her lawn. She took the possum, drove it to their house, and threw it at them. And told them they better stay away. Okay. Two and three. Y'all better stop it. <laughs> Y'all better stop it. What else happened? Um, Marty went to the strip club and asked one of the, the dancers about the boss since the boss was like i know what you're doing you trying to launder money through my business so yeah yeah he's he, he trying to find that out um what else charlotte charlotte is posting on social media aren't they not supposed to post you know like that to keep their whereabouts and stuff kind of hush hush then, oh, the FBI. The FBI, of course, found out where they are because, you know, they've been using their credit cards and stuff, so they tracked them down. So the FBI came and was like, you know, we're we're checking up on because Bruce is missing. Him and his fiance has been missing for about a week or so. And Marty played his part and was like, um, he's missing. Oh, wait, what happened? And then... The FBI guy told him, well, he was working with us, and we know y'all was working with the cartel. And Marty was like, huh? What, what are you talking about? Then he was like, I already know what's going on, Marty. Just come on, y'all, you know, work with us. We'll put you in protective custody. And I was like, nope, 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 because once they do that, they're dead. Okay. No. And, and Wendy came, and she caught on. She was like, Oh, what are you talking about? We 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 just moved for a business opportunity. We saw that there, it was a need here in o, in the Ozark. And he was like, mm -hmm, okay, y'all. If y'all say so, but I'm still on to y'all. Then we found out that he has, well, his ex-boyfriend was the guy taking pictures of them when they was outside moving their stuff. So the guy was taking pictures of him. And that was his, the FBI ex-boyfriend. And 
one scene I was like, really, did y'all have to put this scene in here where I guess he got him a, a, a male prostitute to come service him? And the guy was like, you are a sociopath, dude. You, you crazy. But yes, how did it end? How did it end? Oh, it ended because Ruth, that's right, Marty, no, 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 Marty didn't give jo uh, Ruth a job. Ruth came and demanded a job because she was like, you owe me because you, basically, you came back and took the money. Ma'am, that was not your money, okay? <laughs> I'm taking something that belonged to me, that belonged to the cartel. So what you talking about? But she she talked her way in. She was like, um, you know what they say, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So he was like, all right. But he didn't tell the owner lady that um, she was working there. She come in, she's like, um, who are you? And what are you doing here? And she was like, I'm working. You take that up with Marty. Then at the end, her brothers, her stupid, not brothers, her stupid, one of y'all told me that they're like, they're family, but the two older, older brothers are her cousins. And the two younger boys are her cousins as well. Something like that. They all related. These idiots went and broke into the cabinet because she locked the money up in the cabinet. Because, you know, she thinking smart. She like, you know, I'm not just going to let y'all have this money. Y'all going to just blow it. And lo and behold, they did. Because she was trying to flip it, you know, make more money. These idiots went and bought bobcats because they was like you know how much money you could get for bobcats sir you can't breed them because you have two females you idiots and ruth locked them in a the cage with the bobcats even though they're baby bobcats but she was like y'all sit here and and think about it and she also told them oh yeah i have a plan i'm working with bruce so i can learn how to launder money once i learn i'm going to kill him Girl, no, you're not. <laughs> Anywho, that's how it ended. So, I'm excited to see what episode four got for me. So, if this is your first time here, welcome. And go ahead and sit, sit, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a video. And enough talking, let's get right into it. Money laundering 101. Say you come across a suitcase with five million bucks in it. What would you buy? Oh. A yacht? The IRS will Money? It's too clean. Looks like it just came out of a bank vault. You gotta age it up, crumple it, drag oh. it through the dirt, run it over with your car. Anything to make it look like it's been around the block. Oh, okay, you gotta do all that? So, he did get into the strip club business? It then goes into a standard checking account, and voila. All you need is access to one of over three million terminals. Oh. Because your work is done. What money is that? Oh, that's him, Dale. Oh boy. I got a feeling this one's gonna be crazy. Oh. How's it going, Reagan? Actually, uh. my name is Margaret. What about the safe? It's in the office. Oh, so she... Yeah. It's black, made of steel. Has one of those dials you turn, like, on my high school locker. Wait a minute. So he got her to work for him. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to fuck you now, right? No! Oh, no. to do it <laughs> okay are you saying you want to put the assets in your name seems like the smart thing to do it's never gonna happen uh oh if you get arrested they can freeze everything uh. <laughs> the vultures again 
Is something else dead somewhere? Uh oh, what you see? Is he dead? Oh, no, he's not. Is he out there naked again? They hovering over him, <laughs> waiting for him to die. Would you die without that oxygen? I don't know. Oh Lord, he gonna take it off. Am I dead yet? <laughs> hmm? I'm trying. Uh uh. Is it drugs in there? Keeping them high. <laughs> Isn't that been in somebody else's nose? Why would you put that in yours? That's good show. There's Charlotte. Listen, Eduardo, see, see. Um, any chance you could throw on a, a windbreaker or something? It's 94 degrees outside. Yeah, well, if it's readers you're after, why don't you put some Shakespeare on your ass? <laughs> hey, she's 15, asshole. <laughs> Who are you just texting? business because <clears throat> that's what this place is it's, it's my business right <laughs> do you know um last week after the o'connors came in for brunch that they got home to find out that they were without jewelry uh oh TV, oh people have certain expectations when they come to a place like this okay they want clean silverware they want unlimited refills on their coffee It's not even uh, Fourth of July, so American Independence Day. That's right. Just admit it, Mario. You fucked. We're gonna kill your family gently. We'll be done with all this madness. Oh my goodness. This is your best friend. Ah. Marty. Better try to speed this up. Ruth, can I talk to you? There's a safe in Bobby Dean's office. I need what's inside. You're asking me to rob strip club? I am. And what's in it for me? We tell you that I'm offering you 10% of what's inside. And what's I want 80%. 80? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's your boss. I hope that I'm not going to have to negotiate every single time I ask you to do something. 50. How about I ask somebody else to do it? She always want to negotiate. Looking up Ruth. Is that the psycho? Yeah, that's his ex-boyfriend. Oh. They going to try to get them to work with them. Watch. She's trying to act all innocent. 1998. So there are two types of dances. Stage dance, a lap dance. Now, stage dance, merely an advertisement for a lap dance. Advertisement? This is an advertisement? Well, you're no fucking beauty, you know that, right? Oh my gosh. Ain't necessarily a bad thing. More important is you know how to tease me. Uh-oh. Come on, Ruth, put it on. <laughs> <laughs> she, she about to show you. You tell me. Ooh. What do you think I'm thinking about? Move on to the audition part of the interview. <laughs> oh, gosh. Go on, close the door. Oh, my goodness. What's she about to do? Is she really going to audition? Or is she going to kill him? <laughs> He gonna want to have sex. Watch, not just the dance. Oh wait, what? I ain't going 
gonna suck itself, sweetheart. Oh my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew she wasn't gonna do that. <laughs> Ruth is not one of them. <laughs> he following the vultures because they up there for a reason. So it's something dead around there. Is it an animal? Please be an animal and not a person. Oh, it's a deer. Oh, there's a wolf. Why is he dragging it? Where is he taking this thing? I need two grand. What? Two grand? No chance. Hey, Ruth. Where are you going? I've got expenses. You better use the money y'all took from me. I'm gonna have to go during business hours. You care to tell me exactly how you plan on doing that? Yeah, it's really a situation where the less you know, the better. Ooh. What is he doing? Marty, you there? Is he dissecting it? I'm not being soft. I think you are. I think you're minimizing the problem and you're and you're you're rationalizing. That's what you accuse me of doing. No. I'm giving Jonah the benefit of the doubt. And what am I doing? You could do the same. Oh. Y'all should be. Yeah. That's, all. That's, all. That's how I start with serial killers. Because he's a sweet, gentle little boy. <laughs> and he makes his mother Mother's Day cards out of construction paper. I know he's a sweet boy, but he's a, he can be a bit strange at times, can he not? Uh-huh. Admit that, right, every once in a while? What? Oh, was that him? I can't see it's dark. Is he listening? What if it's genetic? What if it's genetic? It's not that. No, you know my brother's history. Oh. Wendy, there's no way it's that. This, this, this it could is be. a normal kid that, that, is, that is having some sort of adolescent death fixation. That's, that's normal. Oh my gosh. Or if you know someone, I'd be willing to pay them to show me spots where the water really moves. That's the, that's the ex-boyfriend? Oh, yeah. Robert Bugs? Robert Powell. <laughs> Good to meet you. Oh, the pleasure's mine. He about to work his way in. Jonah, did you kill those animals? What? <laughs> Are you kidding? Concerned. Did you know that turkey vultures have a wingspan of over six feet? They feed on dead animals. The carcasses give off a chemical that the vultures can smell over a mile away. Oh, okay. Jonah, are you saying? Yeah, you cut their bellies a little bit. The vultures will come swooping down at like 35 miles an hour. So it was him. What the fuck are you doing? Don't worry, we got this. Smoking stunts your growth. All right, listen, motherfuckers. If you deviate from the plan, I'll take a dull fucking blade and cut y'all. Oh. So, what is the plan with these teenagers? They can't go in the strip club. Oh, but they got money. She gave them the money, so... He might let them in. Are these the boys? Yep. That's three, ain't it? He don't care. A fire! Shots fired! She done called the police saying shots fired and the teenagers are in there drinking and living it up. <laughs> she done messed up these girls' money. That was a busy night. I'm a fucking lawyer. Somebody call my lawyer. Right fucking now. It's, it amazes me. Amazes me. 
how people get arrested and be demanded stuff. Me too. I'm in here with the safe, but I can't get it open. Why not? You really want to know the ins and outs of a fucking Traco 5704 safe? How big is that safe? I don't know, like the size of a microwave? Go right to the back door and meet me there in five minutes. Oh my gosh, they about to steal the safe. Is he going to be able to carry it? They're going to drag it? Did it come open? Is there any money? I got a hidden compartment. Yep. There go the money. This is good. Oh no. There's something else. What is it? What are you doing in Chicago? I'm tired, Marine. I got my pension before I got shot. Hallelujah. My old man wanted to be a Marine, but he's too much of a pussy. <laughs> I don't like being tied down, you know? Suffocating. And I just got out of a relationship with a freaking lunatic. Huh. All right. Huh, he? Yep. Oh, he's being truthful. I didn't think he was going to be, I thought he was going to tell him some bogus story of why he was there. And you threw a dead animal at somebody's house? <laughs> hey, that was supposed to be a private conversation. You know, you used to say, do whatever you're going to do as long as you're honest about it, right? Last night, you said you think Jonah might shoot up a school? Uh-oh. I think I'm weird, don't you? Yeah. No, I know. Or should I believe any? When you say when you've been lying to me my entire life. Uh-oh. Wendy! Really small. Reminds me of my hometown. There is a complete lack of pizza. The best coffee is, get this, it's at the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> Piggly Wiggly. I, I know what this person's saying. But I just don't know. I just wanted to hear your voice. Is that the guy? Her side piece. Bye. She called his voicemail. Come to buy your strip club. Your titty bar. And they let you in. Why? Because I offered to post your bail. It's steep too. The pandering and endangering a minor. Not once but five times. Mm -hmm. I ain't selling. Uh oh. You just want my fucking lawyer. You want the Panamanian lawyer? The one that sets up the shell companies for you to launder your money through your club? Oh my god. How a man can own and operate a company without ever putting his name on it so that every move, every transaction is perfectly undetectable. Oh. <laughs> like I said, I, I got a check. See? <laughs> what? Turn down money ain't like you. Why are you turning down money? Money for what? Shut up, boy. It's a fuck. Oh my gosh. Start with the good news. Uh, I have invested in another business, so I'm going to be out of your hair for a little bit. And um, on the bad news is that I'm going to be back here uh, in a little bit to watch the game, after which you'll likely be 50 bucks lighter. Oh! Some young love.
knuckle thing gets me to slow dance. Four out of five, he's gonna slip his hand on the back of my jeans, and if he is cute, I'll let him. Woo! Just let everybody know that. <laughs> oh, you gonna see who she called? What was the name I didn't see? Uh oh, it's gonna be him. Hi, it's Jeff yep. Silverberg. Please leave a detailed message after the beep. Uh, I'm surprised his phone not cut off. <gasps> he still got that video? Oh my gosh, and he about to bring it up. Uh oh. Well, I used the money from the Chicago house, and I bought it. Oh! Now, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure you can inflate construction costs, and you can launder money through it. It's a good idea. And I did it for our family. What'd you do today? Oh! Oh! This Marty Bird. I don't know what to tell you about. Financial plan comes from Chicago. Fears and Lincoln's are. What else do you know about him besides him watching money? Uh oh. The redneck drinking whiskey as he walks. What? Believes that Adam and Eve would have the right to take that out. Okay. Dicks, red man's grave. Fashions a humble tombstone from the empty bottle and walks on. What? This story? Daddy. Oh my gosh. I did not expect that. Why did they do that? Because he messed up? Oh, oh guys can they not okay can we get it off of him can we get it off of him Ugh. what are you doing what are you doing supposed to be in bed. is this how you do it oh my gosh it's part of it. Did you explain all of it? so you want to learn Oh my gosh, he about, he about to bring Jonah into it. It's a suitcase with five million bucks in it. What would you buy? Sports car, yacht. <laughs> <laughs> the story from the beginning. Jonah is into the laundering business now, or learned about it. Lord, this little what, 12, 13 year old boy. Oh my gosh. Is that it? All right, folks. So that was episode four. And whatever the stripper man name is, I forgot. He is dead. He is dead. He is dead. And that was so unexpected. When the guy was telling the story about the redneck and the hillbilly, I was confused because he brought Adam and Eve in it and... I was just as confused as he was when he looked at him like, what? What are you talking about? But they killed, the girl killed him, Darlene. I think she killed him because he messed up. I guess he was laundering money for him. So I guess that's why they killed him. So anywho, Marty has a strip club. And I'm like, sir. One thing I know about Marty, he probably going to upgrade the strip club. He told the girls they don't have to do extra stuff besides dancing. And they were like, well, how are we supposed to make money? <laughs> yeah. Then, um, what, Ruth. No, 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 no. Let's, 
Let's not even get on Luke. Let's get on the FBI ex-boyfriend. He done found Ruth's cousin, brother, whoever he was, relative, the older guy, and now found where he, you know, go to hang out and, you know, befriended him. And he told him the truth, what, you know, everything, like he was from Chicago. Um, I don't even know if they say anything about the job, but he told him that he was um, gay and things like that. I didn't think he was going to be that truthful. I thought he was going to make up some story. And, every, and once he told him that he was gay, instantly he changed because they was talking, chatting it up before he told him that. And he was like, okay, no. And he was like, well, we're going to do this again tomorrow? He's like, I'm going to be busy. What about the next day? Mm, I got to check my calendar. Sir, you know you're not doing nothing. You're just homophobic because he said the F word to, about him. Said he was a F word. And, yeah. So, he going to have to get in with somebody else. Either Ruth or somebody else. But he's just trying to go get in so they could probably work with him and the FBI guy instead of trying to get to Marty. Or they're going to, yeah, <laughs> what I was about to say. Or they're going to have them, you know, give uh, the FBI information about Marty and what he's, he, what he's doing. Because Ruth got the inside scoop, okay? Um, Wendy. Wendy is still calling Gary to hear his voice. And she leaves messages. And I'm like, I would have thought they would have cut his phone off by now because he's dead. So wouldn't that all be cut off? But yeah, and Marty, of course, found out because he saw her on the phone. And he probably like, who, who would she be calling? And he checked the phone and seen that it was uh, Gary. Then he goes back and look at the video of them, you know, getting their thing on. You know, getting it on. And she comes in and tell him, I bought the house I was telling you about. And uh, I don't want to hear about it. You can't say nothing. Okay. But that was both of y'all's money. But I understand you in this predicament. And she said, what she was going to turn it into? I forgot what she, was it a bed and breakfast or, or something? But, it's, yeah. Then, um, Charlotte and Jonah. First of all, Jonah, we found out, was the one putting the dead animals on the lawn. Not two and three. And she threw, <laughs> they probably was so confused. When she threw that possum at at him, <laughs> but then um, he he was putting the animals, the dead animals, on their lawn and in front of the house, so he can see the vultures, cause he's interested in vultures. Cause when they was talking about it, like, why were you doing that to the wood? We saw what you was doing, and he was like, well, um, when dead when animals are dead, they let off this chemical that that vultures come to and then if you kind if their stomach is like slit open or whatever they'll really you know come and come down and he was like a vulture's wingspan is six feet and he's so he's very interested in animals but vultures all right then what else happened then at the end jonah comes in with uh uh marty La laundering. Now I know what the laundering is because you're putting the money in laundry bags to make it look old and not brand new. Because he said that at the beginning and he said it some of it at the end when he was talking to Jonah. So that's why it's called money laundering. Oh, I just got that epiphany. Money laundering. You crumble it up or whatever, put it in the business, then Put it in the bank to make it clean like you it's legit oh my gosh <laughs> but anywho now jonah know i guess the ins and outs of money laundering and he might have him be a part of it and, and do some things 
but yes. Yeah. So this was a good episode. Um, the 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 stripper guy being killed was you know the most action, but still, the way Marty Marty be he be smart on his feet. Um, the way he took the safe out and all of that, but yes. Oh excuse me. <laughs> but yes, yeah, this was a good episode. So. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a video. Comment on this episode, uh, anything that I missed or got wrong. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok at HerStyles with the Z15. Alright folks, don't forget to keep being you, doing you for you, okay? And I'll see y'all on the next one.